Uh, Shalom, this is the Toronto Prophets, I'm Brother Jeremiah. Brother Michael. Hi, Bar. Manawak. And uh, today's lesson, uh, we're going to show that um, Solomon's navy, they went to uh, America, the, the Phoenicians and the Canaanites, that where they gathered the uh, basically all the stuff for the temple, that was America. So I want the brother to give me 1st King 10 and uh, 22. First King 10 and 22. For the king had at the sea a navy of torches, which the navy of Aram once in three years. Come read, read again from the beginning and stop when the two dots are there. For the kings had at the sea a navy of torches, which the navy of the Aram. Right, so the, the king, Solomon had a navy at Tarshish. Uh, Tarshish is at Spain, so that's like the mouth of the Mediterranean. Alright, read on. Once in three years come the navy of Tarshish. Right, so keep in mind the three years because. So, uh, give me a uh, second Ezra 13 and, uh, 45 because um, the, the Solomon's navy operated from Tarshish when they went to America they brought they brought it to Tarshish as like a that was like a post that was like a docking post and they brought it back every three years because uh, according to the scriptures it takes one year to get to America all right? So that's one year there, one year back, that's two years, and one year to gather everything. So that, that works out to three years. And we're going to prove that it takes a year, All right? Yeah. yeah. Four. Forty-five. Second, Ezra, 13 and 45. For through that country, there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half. Right, so the reason it says a year and a half because the, the, the ten tribes, they, they took a different route. They went through um, the Persian Gulf and, and uh, all the way uh, um, to the bottom of Africa around. Now that, that would take a half year, all right? But the um, Solomon's Navy, they didn't take that route. They took a shorter route. They just took a direct path from the Mediterranean to, to America. So it would take just a full year, okay? And that's why you have, like, you have Phoenician coins and, like, cartridge. And yeah. Yeah, in America, too, yeah. Sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah, read, uh, keep reading, First Kings. Of Tarshish bring gold, right, gold, and silver, right, ivory, right, and apes, right, and peacocks. Right, so they, they brought a lot of rare things, and, and there's a lot of gold in America. If you know about America, there's a lot of gold. Um, that's why some of the, I, I don't know exact which ones, but some of the South American countries, uh, if you look up their meaning, it, it has a lot to do with gold. Like Puerto Rico means rich port. Okay? Um, there's a lot of meanings that mean, uh, um, that, that means it has a lot of rich resources. Like Brazil, that's where they got a lot of trees from, lumber. Because I believe the, the word Brazil is actually a kind of tree in Brazil, like a redwood tree. So they have a lot of trees. Okay, that's why they got a lot of stuff from me. Um, let me see. There's Panama. Yeah. Uh, just read the next yeah. verse too. So King Solomon exceeded all the kings of the earth for riches okay. and for wisdom. Right, so all the kings, the kings of Ethiopia, kings of Egypt. So no other king was wiser than King Solomon. Okay. Uh, yeah, keep reading. And all the earth saw to Solomon to hear his wisdom, which God had put in his heart. Mm -hmm. And they brought every man his present vessels of silver and vessels of gold and garments and armor and spice, horses and mule arrayed ear by ear and Solomon 
together. Yeah, no, that that's it. Um, give me Second Chronicle, chapter nine and twenty-one. Okay. Uh, so we just showed you uh, three years, obviously, because if you think about it, no, there's no other land that that'll take three years. Uh, that'll take you three years to get from Israel, okay? It won't take you three years to get to Africa. It won't take you three years to get to Asia. It'll take you, I mean, I mean, it's like a year to get to Africa, all right? It'll take you a year, though, to ship from, from the Middle East to the next side of the world, okay? Yeah, uh, get that. Second Chronicles 9 and 21. For the king's ships went to Tarshish, with the servants of Harim, every three years, once came the ships of Tarshish. Right. So every three years, once. So every three years, one. Every three years, a ship ships came one time, because like I said, it takes two years there and back, and one year to gather everything. That makes 100 percent sense, you know. Going. Bringing gold and silver, ivory and apes and peacocks. Right. Yeah. You can stop there. And then give me a uh, first king nine and twenty-six. First Kings nine and twenty-six. And King Solomon made a navy of ships in Ezion Geber, mm -hmm. which is beside Elah, on the shore of the Red Sea, in the land of Edom. Right, so he made a navy of ships there. That doesn't mean that's where they sailed to born. And Haram sent in the navy his servants, shipmen that had knowledge of the sea, with the servant of Solomon. Right, so these were Hamites, they had knowledge of the sea. But guess what, the knowledge came from Solomon. Because Solomon had the knowledge, the Hamites, they, they had knowledge, but they didn't discover it themselves, because the scripture says, we are the former of all things. So we had the knowledge, Solomon really had the knowledge. Okay, go on. They came to Ophir, right. and fetched from thence gold, 420 talents and brought it to King Solomon. Okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna, uh, you'll see the book in post production. It's called The Underground by Preston Pete. And I'm just gonna go um, show you one quick thing in it. Because this word Ophir means like it's South America, really. Okay, it's been discussed by scholars. So this is page 111, 111. It says, considering what the Phoenicians were already doing, it is no surprise that they were willing and eager to enter into a joint venture with King Solomon for mutual benefit. With Solomon providing a port on the Red Sea, the opportunities for profits were vast. Solomon was crowned king of a powerful Hebrew state created by his father David, which was largely at peace for most of the duration of his reign. This prolonged peace along allowed him to pursue expansion in commerce and building to, to increase his income revenues Solomon aligned, allied with King Haram of Tyre the richest and most powerful of the Phoenician city-states together they built a trading fleet in the Red Sea port of Ezion Geber we just read that in the scriptures uh, down the page it says there are, there are other references that repeat these basic points however we can draw out our, draw our conclusions from these passages. Solomon built his fleet on the Red Sea from which they sailed to distant Ophir and Tarshish. Now Tarshish was uh, Spain. That was only a docking point. That wasn't where they got the gold from because that place was already discovered. The location of Ophir has been the subject of much debate, but a good case can be made for Peru as the true location. Alright? For example, uh, yeah. That's it, and then um. And they were known for gold. Right. The Incas. Yeah, the Inca. That's right. Uh, uh, which is the tribe of uh, I think it's Asher. Asher. Right? Yeah, that's right, Asher. Yeah, the Inca Empire was a great empire. They had many temples and, and pyramids, and and I was reading they, they they also built a wall I think as big as the, the Great Wall of China, you know, and they they also had a large highway, they had a vast highway that went through South America. So there's a lot of uh, precious metals there. Okay, page one twelve. Ofer was almost certainly not no slucky. Ofer was almost certainly not some place in India or Africa, as been proposed by some theorists.
because these places could be easily reached by overland caravans or by sea in considerably less than three years. To further support the case for South American location to offer, a few years ago, explorer Jean Savoy found an inscription in the cave in Peru with the same exact same glyph of for Ofer, identifying Peru as one and the same. All right, so that's just some more info. Um, someone give me a wisdom of Solomon seven. It's on there too. Let's go back. Yeah, 7 and uh, 17.